Have you ever wondered when lightning is most frequent for your local area? We at the National Weather Service have analyzed over 850 million observed lightning flashes between 1988 and 2017 to provide imagery that captures when lightning occurs most or least for a local area. We hope this imagery leads to safer, more informed decision making for interests that are affected by thunderstorms and lightning. When you reach the map, you'll see a pop-up screen featuring some instructional text and video like you're viewing now. Click OK and proceed to the map and choose a layer you're most interested in. To do this, move your cursor or finger to the layer icon at the top right. Click the layer icon and choose the layer. It's helpful to just have one layer selected at a time. As of June 2019, you can choose from 10 mile range rings surrounding airports in the continental US, National Weather Service fire weather zones, and counties and parishes. I've chosen counties and parishes. Now you can zoom in to the area of the country you're most interested in, either by using your scroll wheel on your mouse, the buttons at the top left, or by using your finger on a mobile device. I'm going to zoom in to the county I live in now, Jackson County, Oregon, and select it by clicking the mouse or tapping with my finger on a mobile device. A pop-up window appears and I have two types of imagery to view. The first imagery highlights the frequency of at least one lightning flash per hour per week of the year. You can see that lightning has a bimodal distribution in Jackson County, meaning there are two distinct maximums of lightning. One is mid-May to early June, and the other is mid-July to mid-August. If you put your mouse or finger on the grid box that represents the week of May 14th to May 20th, between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. local time, you can see that at least one cloud to ground lightning flash occurred in 40% of the years between 1988 and 2017, between the hour of 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. during the week of May 14th to May 20th. Just three hours earlier in the same week, a cloud to ground lightning flash was observed in only 7% of those 30 years. The second type of map focuses more on the total amount of lightning. This can tell you when the bulk of the lightning occurs during the year. You can see that in the case of Jackson County, even though the frequency of at least one lightning flash is similar in late May and late July, the total number of flashes that occur in late July is much higher than in late May. You can mouse over any grid box to explore how many total cloud to ground flashes have occurred in a specific hour for any week of the year. Here is the maximum. Almost 1,000 cloud to ground flashes have been observed in the week of August 6th to August 12th between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. in Jackson County. Additionally, on the total image, you can see what specific week features the most total lightning flashes between 1988 and 2017. For Jackson County, the busiest lightning week is August 6th through 12th. We hope you find this imagery useful. And you can provide feedback or learn more about this service by clicking the About button in the top left portion of the map.